So, uh, shalom to the house of Israel. What you are looking at is the sons of the true and living power. Right? We come out here on July 4th, so-called July 4th, to tell you black men, Hispanic men, and Native American men that you need to come back to the Lord, the Lord thy God. Because for too long we've been counted for madness, and we've been counted for nothing. And do you know why that is? It's because you continue to transgress against the Lord thy God. Right? You come out here after being killed for the last 100, 200, 300, 400 years, and then you celebrate the white man's holiday. You celebrate Independence Day. But what are you independent from? Right? Because you're not, you don't have any independence. You need the white man for your water. You need the white man for your food. You need the white man for your clothing. You need the white man for your housing. You need the white man for your children. You need the white man for your job, for your money, and everything else. So what are you celebrating out here tonight? What are you celebrating, black man? Hispanic man, Native American, right? This day brings you joy, right? This day it makes you happy to see all these fireworks in the air. But a lot of you are gonna be destroyed for the lack of knowledge that you have, man. Give me Colossians 3 and 17. The book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 17, right? If whatsoever ye do a word or deed, right? Do all the name of Hamashiach and Hamashiach, giving thanks to the power of the Abba by him. So everything we do, we do in the name of Hamashiach and Hamashiach, who the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me the light, Galatians 4 and 8, right? Because a, a, a long time now, man, you've been partaking in the traditions of the white man. You so-called hate the white man, you hate the white man for what he's done to the black man in America, but then you celebrate his holiday. Right? How hypocritical are you? Right. After he just killed George Floyd, he sat there for almost nine minutes on his neck. And then you turn around and celebrate the white man's holiday. The same man that killed your father. The right. same man that killed your cousin. The same man that killed your little brother. The same man that killed your children, man. And you celebrate these days gladly. How wicked can you be, man? How simple-minded can you be, black right, man? Read what you got, man. The book of Galatians, chapter 4 and verse 8. Uh -huh. be it then. When you Right, so you serve in the nature of no gods, man. What you're doing, you're, you're, giving, a, you're giving a reverence to, to somebody that doesn't even serve a god, man. Right? The Heavenly Father said we got to keep the high holy day. The Heavenly Father said we got to keep the Sabbath day. The Heavenly Father said we should keep the commandments. But you continue to break all of those things. And you wonder why you live in Franklin Park, man. You wonder why we got so much pain. Because your father and your mother have never, never taught you this, man. Why are we celebrating the 4th of July when all these white men have been killing us for years? 
years, man. What are you independent from? You still gotta go to Walmart for your tissue paper, man. You don't even make the things that work the back of your behind with. That's how serious we are, man. Right? A lot of our people have been destroyed, man. We cry and sigh for the abominations that have been committed in this earth. We cry and sigh for our women that walk to and fro in the earth, dressed like harlots, man. You guys gotta repent and come back to the voice of the Lord thy God. Real. Verse 4. A sinful nation, uh -huh. a people laden with hey, iniquity. It is a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. Right? You guys don't even know what sin is, man. And it's sad. You say you love God. You say you love the Lord. You say you want to serve God. But you ain't doing it, man. You ain't doing it. Freedom. A seed of evildoers. They see the what? 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 A seed of evildoers. All of you are seeds of evildoers, man. Right? All of you are seeds of evildoers. None of you strive to keep the Lord thy God, man. None of you strive to keep the Lord thy God in your heart and in your mind and strive to be perfect according to the laws of, the, of thy God, man. Right? A lot of you think you're your own God, man. A lot of you think you have power, but you have no power on this earth. Right? Right? You have no power on this earth because what? You have forsaken the Lord thy God. You have forsaken your true heavenly father, man. That is our power, man. Give me Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea chapter 4 and 1. Because when you look at our people, man, we are destroyed. We are destroyed. We seen that brother come up. That brother hurting, man. That brother's hurting. And just like a, a, a thousand more Negroes up in Franklin Park, you hurting too, man. And you don't even realize it. That's why you got to get drunk every night. Every morning. That's why you got to get high every night. And every morning. That's why you popping pills every night. And every morning. You got to keep a sober mind, man. You got to come back and serve the voice of the Lord thy God. Read what you got, man. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 1. I'll read it. you children of Israel, you stiff-necked and impudent children, hear the words of the Most High, read them. For the Most High have a controversy uh -huh. with the inheritance of the land. He has a problem with the children of Israel right now, man, because when you look at us, we're not living in a good state, man. Right. You guys embrace dung here, man. You guys you guys embrace doo-doo. Right. And I gotta tell it like it is, man. You guys are comfortable letting Ishmael come to the middle of your hood and set up shop. You guys are comfortable with that, right? Right? You, you comfortable buying your clothes from other nations. You comfortable with your women being whores. You comfortable with all these baby mamas and baby daddies. You comfortable with child support. You comfortable with the cocaine that's in your neighborhood. You comforted when, when uh, uh, the brother got killed back here, man. Yeah. That's your comfort. That's your comfort. We know, man. Because there is no truth. There's no way. 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 There is no truth. There's no truth, sister. Look at that, man. That's sick. That's sick. And the most I'm going to put you to death, you better stop playing. That's right. The most I'm going to put you to death. Right. Because we don't need women like that in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Keep reading, man. No mercy. No what? No mercy. No what? No mercy. That's why the brother got shot and killed, man. Read him. No knowledge of the most high. You don't have no knowledge of the most high. That's why you in the same red dress from last night. That's right. We see you yesterday. Keep reading, man. There is no knowledge of the most high in the land. There's no knowledge of the most high in the land. That's why you have no you have no pride, man. You have no dignity. You have no self-knowledge. You have no knowledge of God. No, no, no. I don't want to go that route. Keep reading. Keep reading. <laughs> I don't want to go that route, right? I don't want to ride with no spirits tonight. First of all, my job is to come out here and show my people their transgressions. Whether you whether you here or forbear, man. I don't want to fight you. Because if you if you don't want to keep the commandments, you go kick rocks and go up the street, man. Since you gotta repent, come back to the voice of the Lord thy God. That's why we that's, that's why we living like this. Don't you know that? That's why George Floyd got killed. Don't you know that? That's why Trayvon Martin got killed. Don't you know that? You know that, right? How many black men have died in Franklin Park, man? Right? How many more? How many more black men gonna die in Franklin Park? But you wonder why? Why the white man killing us? Why my own brother killing us? I got enemies that live next door to me. It's because you don't keep the voice, of the, the commandments of God, man. That's why. That's why we come out here every week and we tell you to repent. Repent for your sins and convert your ways. Read on, man. Verse 7. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Uh -huh. Therefore, will I change their glory into shame. Give me 5 verse 7. 
Let's go there. Give me Proverbs 7. Let's go. Because this is, this is sickly, man. When I, look, when I look at women like this, it's sickly to my mind. It's sickly to my heart. It makes me sigh and cry because she don't even know how destroyed she is. She's a, she's a, she's a queen. She's a princess in the eyes of the Most High, but you carry yourself like dumb. You carry yourself like a heart. Because you got women like this, you got mothers like this teaching the other young women to do the same thing. Right. Read what you got, man. Bring it out. The book of Herbert, chapter 7 and verse 9. Uh-huh. In the twilight, in the evening, in the dark, in the black and dark night. In the black and dark night, read on. And behold, uh-huh. there met him a woman. There met him a woman, read on. With the attire of a harlot. With the what? With the attire of a harlot. With the attire of a harlot. With the what? With the attire. With the attire of a heart. Read, read it. And subtile of heart. A subtile of heart. Read off. She is loud. She is what? She is loud. She is what? She is loud. She is what? She is loud. I know she loud. I know she don't got no discipline. Because she walked to and fro in the streets all night. Read off. And stubborn. And what? And stubborn. And what? And stubborn. And what? And stubborn. That's why she don't want to listen because she's a stubborn woman. Read off. Her feet. What? Her feet. Her what? Her feet. Her what? Her feet. Her what? Her feet. Her what? Her Hey, what's that scripture that uh, a wicked man, a wicked woman is given to a wicked man? Oh, uh, Sirach, right. give me that. Give me that. Come. On. Yeah, bring that out. Bring them all out. Come. On. Brother, let me tell you something, man. We're not out here to, we're not out here to, to, to bring nobody down. We out here to tell the truth, right? Because guess what? The most, listen, the most I don't play around. He put this stuff in front of you as an example. I'm gonna show you something out of the scriptures, man. Let me show you what, let me show you what your God said. Your father said, right? Let me show you what your God said, brother and sister. Right? Read what you got, man. 92. Sorry, 92. Sorry, 92. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 9 and verse 2. Uh-huh. Give not thy soul uh-huh. unto a woman. Just read that again, brother. Give not thy soul. Give not thy soul, brother. Read on. Unto a woman. Unto a what? To a woman. Read on. To set her foot upon the, thy substance. Right? To set her foot upon your substance. To put her foot upon your substance, right? Absolutely. Come up here, brother. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got you tonight. What's your name, brother? What's it? Kamari? No, no. My name is Kadash, brother. That's nice. Right? So I'm going to show you what we are here. Give me Isaiah 49 and 5 first. Let me show you who we are, and I'm going to show you why you should not be celebrating the 4th of July. Because I know it's hard for you because you got friends. They, they pop in the fireworks and it looks nice when they light them and then they run, right? It looks cool. But you got to serve the Lord thy God first, right? This is important for you to become a real man, right? Let me show you something. Isaiah 49 and 5. The book of Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 5. Uh-huh. And now, saith the Most High, uh-huh. that formed me uh-huh. from the womb. So he formed all of us from the womb, right? Read off. To be his servant. To be a servant. You are looking at the servants of God, right? Read off. To bring Jacob again to him. To bring Jacob again to him. That's you, brother. Jacob is the progenitor of the... I'm, and I'm, I don't want to get too deep. Jacob is our forefather, right? And we come out of a very great nation. God told us certain things we should do and certain things we should not do. Right? So, 4th of July is one of those things, and I'm, I'm going to prove that. Give me Jeremiah chapter 10. Jeremiah chapter 10. Because all of these things that they're doing, this does not pertain to us. Right? right? And there's a lot of hard conversations. How old is he? Eight. eight. Right? There's a lot of hard conversations that we're going to have to have in the, in the near future. Right? Because in America, they do a lot of bad things to us. Right? And for a long time, they have done these things. But God allowed that stuff to happen because we don't keep the commandments. Fourth of July is not keeping the commandments. Fourth of July is actually against what we should be doing. Right? So read what you got. The book of Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Hear ye the word which the Most High speaketh unto you. Uh-huh. So you hear the words of God. Right? Read on. O house of Israel. Right? Read on. Thus saith the Most High. Uh-huh. Learn not. Do what? Learn not. Learn not. Do you know what that means? It means do, don't do it. Don't even learn their ways. Learn not. Read on. Learn not. Uh-huh. The way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. The heathen is the so-called white man. Right? This, this holiday does not belong to us, right? This day does not belong to you. It does not belong to us or any of your friends. They just do it out of ignorance, not knowing better, right? So if your mother, you're his arm, right? So if your mother is telling you not to do it, it's for your own good, right? You have to obey your parents. You know that's what God said, right? Give me Ephesians, give me Ephesians 6 and 1. 
right? And it's all out of love. Don't think your mom hates you. Your mom loved you. That's actually a brilliant thing she did. Because a lot, a lot of kids, they don't know any better, right? That shows me that you're going to grow up and be a smart young man, right? You're going to be a smart young man. If you're knowing that at eight years old, nine years old, you're going to be a smart young man and a strong young man at that, right? So read what you got, Ephesians 6 and 1. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Children, uh -huh. obey your parents. Children, obey your parents. So if your mom told you to do it, you can't do it. You might not understand right now, but it's for your own good, right? This is what's going to keep you out of harm's way. This is what's going to keep you out of danger. This is what's going to keep you alive and living. Right? Like I said, when you're older, you're going to realize some things. Right? So give me Proverbs 22 and 6. 6 and 1. I read 6 and 1. Come on. Come on. You, you still holding that? Go to 22 and 6 and then we'll jump back. Right? Uh, July 4th. Do you know where July 4th comes from? Right? So that's the, that, these are the things that we have to know. July 4th is a day supposedly that America got its independence. Right? But we were never independent. Right? A hard co another hard conversation we have to have is that we... Right. A another conversation that we have to have is that America never loved us. Right. right? And America will never love you. We have to try twice as hard in America to get by as a black man. Right? These are hard things I gotta tell you, brother, and I'm sorry. But these are things that we all had to go through as young black men in America. That's right. Right? These are hard conversations that your mother has to have with you. Right? not the best circumstances but it's the truth right so here when you see all right the 4th of july right 1776 do you know where the black people were in 1776 you know any history do they teach you history in school right do you know your teacher never taught you not history all right give me uh, john 8 32 i'm gonna show you something what is that, Proverbs 22 and 6? So read that first and then John 8, 32. The book of Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Train up a child uh -huh. the way that he should go. Oh, you, did, you did a broken thing, so it's to train up a child, a child in the way he should go. And read on. And when he is old, when he is old, read on. He will not depart from and he's it. not going to depart from this thing, so you're going to teach your children this one day. Right. right? Your mother's teaching you the right thing. Right? right? So jump back to, uh, what was it getting? Yeah, John 8, 32. Right? Con, con. Right? So, when you read, can you read? Can you read? Read this for me. It's of the devil, right? That's right? So when you read things like this, like I say, you might not understand a lot of things, but this holiday was never given to us, right? This comes from other people that don't like us, right? right? So we shouldn't do what they do. When, the, when you read the Bible, it tells you don't do what they do. Because what they do is not of God. That's right. Right? In 1776, look at all these things. Exodus 23 and 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Meaning, if a bunch of people are celebrating 4th of July, right? That doesn't mean you have to do it. Right? Because when you follow a multitude to do evil, you're going to set yourself up. Right? Right? It's history, right? And sister, you tell me if I'm going too deep. I don't want to tell them something that's, you know, that's too hard for them to understand. Right, absolutely. Right. Right. Absolutely. And when we, listen, when we don't understand our history, we won't know where we're going. Right. I'm going to show you something. 1804, I know we got many. Where, where are my Haitians at, man? The Levites. Put your hands up, man. Right? All the Levites. These, you would be from the tribe of Levi, according to the Bible, right? right. I'm going to show you something. God, what you got? The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, in verse 16. Uh -huh. Thus, in process of time, uh -huh. an unrighteous custom, uh -huh. grown strong, uh -huh. was kept as a law. Right, and the unrighteous custom was, that was grown is kept as a law. Now they make you feel like, oh, you have to celebrate 4th of July. No, you don't. You don't have to do that. Right? 4th of July is not for us. 4th of July, it might look cool, but it's actually evil. Right? Read what you got. Engraving images uh -huh. were worshipped by the commandment of kings. Engraving images were worshipped. So all these, like, like for example, uh, in, the, in the South, they have all these monuments, right? And they worship these monuments. And what are they doing? They're trying to tear them down right now because they know they, they, uh, they represent evil that was done to us. Right? So, we were on that. Go, go to 20, Deuteronomy 28. Right? Huh? Yeah, jump back to Ephesians 6 and 1. 
right? So brother, right? So all of these things, all of these things, I'm gonna show you some, right? I'm gonna try to make this plain as day. Why, the, the reason these things happen to us and still happen to us is because we broke the commandments of God. That's what the Bible says, right? You see this? This is called a slave ship. That's how they, they sent you guys to Haiti, America, Jamaica, Bahamas, right? They, we got there by slave ships. We're not from those places, right? Just like here. This is what they did to punish our black men, right? When we were slaves in the field, they put iron on our necks. We have to remember these things. You understand? Because when you understand these things, it's going to make you into a strong man when you get older, right? So read what you got. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Children, obey your parents. Children, obey your parents. Read on. In the most high. Uh -huh. Read on. For this is right. For this is the right thing to do, brother. Read on. Honor thy father you and gotta, mother. You got to honor thy father and mother. Do you know what that means? It means to respect. You have to respect your mother. Right? Respect your father. Mm. Right? If they tell you to do something, you got to do it. Right? Read on. Honor thy father and mother, uh -huh. which is the first commandment with promise. Right? That's the first commandment. That's the first commandment. If you want to love God, you gotta you gotta respect your mother and respect your father. Right? So what you have to do, you gotta say, look, I'm gonna forget about this thing. Right? Right? You gotta ask your mom, okay, now what can we do? Right? And I'll and I'll give her advice now. Now we gotta come back, keep the Sabbath, what we do, keep the Sabbath day, right? Keep the high holy days of God. Because these days are the righteous days of God. Right? These days are the righteous days, the ones that we're supposed to celebrate. Right? As the children of God. Because everybody believes that we're special people until you start, you know, like we have to go into the Bible and, and look at these things. But when you look at us, look at where we live. Right? We come out, you've seen us out here before. I don't know if you've seen us. Other spots, right? So we come out of Franklin Park almost every week and we tell them to stop killing each other. There's a brother, they just had a vigil over here. This is about the third or fourth brother that got killed from Franklin Park. Right? Because what? You don't understand what we should be doing for each other. We have to love one another. We got to love our brothers, love our sisters, right? God has done these things because we broke the commandments of God, right? All of these things happen for that for that reason, right? Read uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh-huh. Now, matter of fact, drop that. Give me 1 John 5 and 3. I'll, I'll keep it simple. You Do you want to love God, brother? You love God, right? Let me show you how to love God. If I ask you how do you love God, what would you tell me? Yeah, speak, speak up. Talk like a man. Right. Don't do anything bad. That's good. That's good. Hey, clap it up for this young brother, man. Hallelujah. Clap it up, because you got, you got kids your age running around here, and they cursing us out. The fact that you just said that, that's brilliant. Don't do anything bad, but let's get even more detail. First John 5 and 3. The book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh-huh. But this is love. For this is love. Read on. Of the most high. Of God. This is how you love God. Read on. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. Right? Keep reading. And his commandments are not grievous. And these are hard things to do. So keeping the commandments, that's a good thing. Right? So don't do anything bad. What is bad? Don't do anything that God told you not to do. Right? Do you know some of the things God told you not to do? Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. Kyle, Kyle, I got you. Right? You got it? Read what you got. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Yeah, Kyle, read that. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Read that again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Read that one more time. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. One more time. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. One more time. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. One more time. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. The reason I read that so much is because that's a prevalent thing in our communities. You look at another black man, they teach our children to look at somebody that looks just like you, came from the same place as you, went through the same things, and you hate your own Right? When we look at our brother, we have to love our brother. That's a commandment. If you if you hate your brother, that's committing murder against God. That's a murder in the sight of the Most High. When you look at another man, a brother that looks like you, you have to love your brother, right? So if he asks you for some, you got some chips, you gotta be like, you can have a little bit, right? If he asks you for something, pour a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Show him some love, right? These are the things we have to practice from a child, right? So when we get older, we don't depart from those things. 
the, the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. Give me Romans 7. Romans chapter 7, right? This is a, and this is an invite to you and your son, right? We have a school right down the street, right? We, we, we raise up little children. We got a lot of children that run around. Right? Yeah, it's on that flyer, right? It's the, we got two right in the truck. They listen to us right now, right? We got, we got a young brother right here. He's 14 years old, right? We raise up our children to go in the ways of the Most High, right? Come down. We'll listen. Calm down. It's not that far. We, we travel to, yeah, we, we travel to Hollywood all the time. Right, we got YouTube, we got a number, if you have any questions, you can call that number. Because we out here to serve the people, like I tell people all the time, all of these brothers, we are young brothers, and there's a, it's a Saturday night, right? We could be doing anything in the other in the world, but we come out here to do what? Save our people, because what? We love God, and we love our people. I wonder why, like, the scriptures tell you that we will suffer from all type manner of diseases that are not even written in the Bible. And there's a reason for it. One of the things that we have to keep is the dietary laws. The, when you go to Sunday church, they say, look, you don't got to do none of that. To get into heaven, you just call on Jesus and give me your money and go back home doing your wickedness. And a lot of, listen, we do prison ministry. A lot of them brothers are locked up right now because they were involved in Christianity. That pastor told them you could do whatever you want. You could go murder your brother and just say, Jesus, and you could enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's not true. Leviticus 11 and 7. The book of Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Right, read on. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. And the what? And the swine. The swine. Do you know what the swine is, brother? The swine is the pig. Right? The swine is the pig. When you, right, the grill, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> right, read it again. And the swine, the grill, and the swine, the jerk part, and the swine, the pepperoni, and the swine, the ham, and the swine, the honey ham, and the swine, all of that pork, read on, and the swine, uh -huh. though he devoured the hook, uh -huh. and be cloven for it, cloven for it, read on, yeah, he chew him, not because. Any way he eats, he doesn't eat it, regurgitate it, and eat it again, read on, he is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. You and your son. He's unclean to you. Read off. Of their flesh. Of their what? Of their flesh. Of their body. Read off. Of their flesh. Uh-huh. Shall ye not eat? You shouldn't eat that thing. Right? Read off. In their carcass. In their what? In their carcass. Body. Read off. In their carcass. Uh -huh. Shall ye not touch? So you shouldn't even touch them. Read off. They are unclean to you. They are unclean to you. Right? So if we want to be a holy people, a special people, and do the good things of God, no eating pork. Right? Right? That's a hard one, look. That's a hard one. I know. Now, you got, listen, you got to put it away. You say, if we love God, right, you want to teach your son the good things, you got to love God too. Because your son might look at you and say, Ma, you told me you don't love God, but you, I see you eating pork. You got to be the example for our children. Right? We have to be the example for our children. We can't tell our children not to do something. We in the streets doing it. Right. I look telling my child, don't sell drugs, but I'm on the corner banging, you know, you know, passing them out. Right. right. Absolutely. Right. Right. Oh, I know. Look, look. Go, go, yeah. Go back to Leviticus. Yeah. Go to the fish, the things of the sea. Right. It's, a, it's some more dietary laws. Right. The book of Leviticus, uh -huh. chapter eleven, and verse nine. Right. These shall he eat of all that are in the waters. Of these shall you eat of all that's in the waters. Whatsoever have fins, anything that has fins, read on, and scales, and scales, read on, in the waters, uh -huh. in the sea, in the seas, read on, in the rivers, in the rivers, read on, them shall ye eat, those you can eat, read on, and all that have not fins, and all that don't have fins, right, read on, and scales, the crabs, in the, so like you, and all that have fins, uh-huh, and scales, the crabs, and scales, the lobster, and scales, in scales, the catfish, in scales, the shark, in scales, the dolphin, in scales, all of these things, read off, in scales, uh -huh. read off, in the seas, uh -huh. and in the rivers, uh -huh. of all that move in the waters, right, read off, and of any living thing which is in the waters, right, read off, they shall be an abomination unto you. Do you know what the Lord says an abomination is? Do you know what the Lord, you don't want to be abominable unto the Lord. If you eat that thing, you become an abomination unto the Lord thy God. What is that, Sirach 12 and 6? Abomination. I go to Sarah. It's 12 and 10, I believe. Yeah, find you. Oh, yeah. Find that for me, right? So these are the things we can't eat, sister. Right? Lobster, uh, clams, um, all of these things. You got salmon. It has to have and scales for us to eat. Right? This is how we show love God, show our love to God. 
This, these things, listen, believe it or not, when we keep the commandments, we are out of harm's way at this point. The scriptures tell you when you keep the commandments, there shall nothing come against you. Right. right? We out here, COVID-19 going on. We've been preaching since the beginning of what? Since it came out, March? We've been teaching no mask and all. We out here still rebuking the people. God said he, even that, that pestilence, it shall not cleave to you. These plagues, they shall not cleave to you. So read what you got. The book of Surat, chapter 12 and verse 6. Right. For the most high hate it. I hated sinners, read on. It will repay vengeance uh -huh. unto the unrighteous. And unto the unrighteous, read on. And keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Right, so he's going to keep them against the mighty day because there's always a punishment when we go against God. So we have to look. We have to look at that relationship with God like a father, right? So if your father told you not to do something, you do it, what's going to happen? He got to put that hammer down. Just like your child, I'm pretty sure. If your child do something you told him not to do, you're going to have to put that hammer down. And you love him. Right? All fear, you love them, but you still got to put that hammer down and it's only for your own good. So when we see brothers kill each other, we know, we look at that as, that's judgment from the Most High. The Most High created those things. Right? So give me 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Right? Right? And I, and I applaud you for even stopping when you came by like that. Right? Right? Because we living in some crazy times right now. We got to watch our young boys. I just seen a video, right? They took a young boy and jacked him, the police took a young boy and jacked him up against the wall. Right? What kind of punishment is that for a young child to go through? You're teaching them hate. Right? Right. Uh-huh. Right. 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 There's really no getting to it. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and you know, how many how many scriptures have we gone over since you've been? We've been through them. And we're going to, as long as you said, we're going to keep bringing them out, bringing them out. No, that's fine. Right. I'll give you one more scripture and I'll let you go. I'll give you one more scripture. It's all love. Psalm 19 and 17. Psalm 19 and 16. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not uh -huh. that ye are the temple of the Most High? Don't you know that you are the temples of the Keep reading. And the spirit of the most high uh -huh. dwelleth in you. The spirit of God has to dwell in you and your son. Right? Read on. If any man defile the temple of the most high, you defile the temple of God by what? Smoking, right? Doing drugs, right? Eating pork, shrimp, lobster, things that were not made for our bodies to handle. Read on. Him shall the most high destroy. Right? So him shall the most high destroy. Because what? When you look at when you look at statistics and the black man and black woman, we're almost number one in every disease. We're number one in everything, right? You know, heart, heart disease, stroke, right? Diabetes, all of these things we're number one in. These are the things we have to watch what we put into our bodies. Because what? We are the temple of God. Right? right? We are the temples of God. Right? And I, hold on, I'm going to give you one more scripture that I promise I'll let you go. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Right? Huh? That's a, oh, in the, let me say this. It's a lot of Time. Okay. Time, time. Right. And our, and our main purpose out here is to tell people that we are the real Jews according to the Bible, right? Because when you look at Haiti, Bahamas, Jamaica, all of these things, like I told your son, we got there on slave ships, but what were we before we got there? We were those real Jews. When you read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15 through 16, it lists all the curses that were the Jews will be going through in the last days. It says we shall identify with the curses, and that's how we'll know who we are, right? These things, this is what it says we are commanded to do. Go out to the highways and byways and compel my people to come back to the Lord because we have been exiled from our homeland. Right? So read what you got. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. That's my last scripture, right? Just I pray we see y'all again, man. I pray we see y'all again because this young but he needs it, man. Right, there you go. There you go. Right? There you go. We'll take good care of him. We'll raise him up be a soldier. Huh? Huh. Yeah, take take my number and text me and I'll give you the address if you got any questions. Let me know. I'll answer, I'll answer your questions, whatever you need. So read what you got. 12 and 13. The book, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So what is the conclusion of the whole matter? What is the meaning of all of this? What are we out here to teach, preach? What are we doing, right? Read on. 
fear the most high. We gotta teach our people to fear God. Read on. And keep his commandments. And do what? And keep his commandments. No, his commandments. And keep his commandments. No, you can do whatever you want to do. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Read on. For this is the whole duty of man. This is our whole duty as man and woman and child on this earth. The so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American has to come back to the laws of God. Or we will, we will continue to be shot down, killed, hung, and jailed in these, these wicked systems. Right? So I pray we see y'all again. I'm going to hand it over to the next teacher. I don't know if y'all want to stay. Right? So shout out to the house of Israel. Hallelujah.